now with Pig in a Fur Coat, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he has here from the restaurant. Can, kind of describe some of this. So I picked uh, two of our lighter fares here. Uh, right here we have our roasted beet salad with pickled carrots, pistachio malt soil. It sits on top of uh, some fresh goat cheese. And this other one is a very, slice, very thinly sliced uh, lamb with some um, corn shoots, some Parmesan Reggiano, and a uh, egg yolk on top. Okay, tell me a little bit about that yolk. I know we were talking about this during break, but is it okay to just crack an egg on something and eat it? Yes, it is. Um, it's, um, so the lamb is very lean, so the egg yolk is very rich, fatty, so it adds a little more depth to the plate. So, a little bit more depth, okay. Yeah. So, and it's, it's not dangerous, because the dangerous part of the yolk, or the uh, egg the is whites. the white. Yes. Okay. All right, and so do you recommend kind of breaking that yolk and spreading it out all so over when the you eat it? Yeah, so at the restaurant we break it and okay. then we spread it on top for it's more of a presentation thing, so it's really nice. Okay. Customers seem to love it. All right, and tell me, you mentioned soil, and I can kind of see soil here. Well, um, tell me a little bit more about that. So we call it a soil because it looks like a soil. We take about seven different flowers. We roast it for over um, about 12 hours, and it looks like soil, but it's actually seven different flowers, local flowers, just cook very slowly. It's a little more of a presentation. Okay. So. And you mentioned the goat cheese, the beets. What else is in here? Uh, we have some pickled carrots here, some sunflower shoots, and some uh, microgreens. So all okay. this dish, both these dishes are actually 100% 100 local. 100% local? Yes. That is very cool. So where uh, do you get most of these things? Uh, local farmers. So our carrots, beets are from either Equinox Farms or Elderberry Farms, and our goat cheese is from Capri Farms here in Wisconsin. All right, now I have to ask, Pig in a Fur Coat, where is that name from? Um, me and the other owner were sitting down one day at a bar just talking about what we should call this adventure. And uh, we wanted something that, that's catchy, that sticks in people's mind. Also, we want to serve fine dining food in a casual setting. So we came up with a Pig in a Fur Coat. All right, so you don't have to wear a fur coat to the restaurant. No, you do not, no. <laughs> All right, and tell me a little bit about um, the James Beard. I, you were a nominee last yes. year. Uh, yeah, uh, last year I was nominated for uh, Best Rising Chef Under 30, and hopefully it continues this year. So. All right, and when do those nominations come out, do you know? Uh, next month, I believe, or two months. Next so. month, all right. Well, yeah. this all looks very amazing. Thank you so much Thank for joining for us me. here, and we'll be right back.